Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. Let's begin with understanding what a use case diagram is. A use case is a list of actions or event steps that typically defines the interactions between the role of an actor and a system to achieve a goal. Now let's learn more about the origins of use cases. Use case modeling is associated with UML, even though it was introduced before UML. In 1986, Ivar Jacobson first developed formulated textual and visual modeling techniques for specifying use cases. In 1992, he co-authored the book Object-Oriented Software Engineering. Now let's learn when to apply these use case diagrams. UML use case diagrams are ideal for demonstrating the goals of system user interactions, essential for defining and organizing functional requirements in a system, specifying the context and requirements of a system, and modeling the basic flow of events in a use case. Now let's look at use case diagram symbols and notations. Here you can see the example use case diagram with notation actor. Actors represent the people actually employing the use cases. An association is a line between actors and use cases, which is important to know which actors are associated with which use cases. A system boundary box is a box that sets a system scope to use cases, and any use cases outside the box will be outside the scope of that system. For packages, UML shape lets you put different elements into groups. Let's find the easiest way to identify the actors. To identify the actors of your system, these questions can provide clarity. Who uses the system? Who installs the system? Who starts up the system? Who maintains the system? Who shuts down the system? What other systems use this system? Who gets information from this system? Who provides information to the system? And does anything happen automatically at the present time? After actors have been identified, the next step is to identify use cases by focusing on these questions. Does the system store information? If yes, what actors will create, read, update, or delete this information? What functions will the actor want from the system? If there are external events in the system, then what actor informs the system of those events? And does the system need to notify an actor about changes in the internal state? Now let's learn more about use case relationships. Extends. The stereotype extends identifies as an extended relationship, and the invalid password use case includes the behavior specified by the base use case login account. Include. The stereotype include identifies the relationship as an include relationship. Include is the relationship between the use cases when a use case is depicted as using the functionality of another use case. Generalization. A generalization relationship with a triangle arrowhead is a parent-child relationship between use cases. Now we'll learn how to draw a use case diagram. First, identify the actors of the system and the role of the users. Next, identify all roles played by the category of users related to the system. Then recognize what the user's requirements of the system are. You have to create each use case for every goal. Structuring use cases is necessary. Prioritization, evaluation, estimation, and validation of the users is required. Now let's draw a use case diagram in eDraw Max. Navigate to File, select the New option, and select Software and Database from the list. Now click on Software Development, and then choose UML Modeling to draw a use case diagram in eDraw Max. There you will find various templates of effective use case diagrams to draw based on your requirements. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. You can directly drag the UML use case diagram symbols from the symbol library on the left into the drawing sheet as needed. Let's drag and drop the system container onto the sheet, which will be considered as system boundary boxes. Here we will draw a website use case diagram to visually represent the unified modeling language. The actor symbol is placed as it can be a person, an organization, or an outside system that interacts with your application or system.
Continue drawing your use case diagram to meet your needs, incorporating its system functions, building blocks, relationships and notations, etc. Here, include symbolizes the relationship between the use cases, significantly used when a use case is depicted as the functionality of another use case. Here, extends identifies as an extended relationship between use cases. Now let's see more examples of use case diagrams. Here's an event management use case diagram. This is a student management use case diagram. And a library management system use case diagram. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMax videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.